take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. Been... Alright, guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Brittany here. You have just tuned in to Beauty by Brit X3. Y'all in today's video, we have another haul, so let's go ahead and jump right into it lettuce a head of lettuce for my salads um sometimes i do salads for lunch and other times i do tuna fish so yeah i have tuna fish in the pantry so i'll probably like switch out so that i won't be eating the same thing each day i'll switch between salads and tuna fish so that's that we do have some cucumbers there bananas I picked up a head of cabbage, some raspberries, also some strawberries. We got some grapes and also the strawberry shortcake um, blue ribbon ice cream bars. I picked up some gallons of water. Y'all, typically I use the water for our Keurig, um, for our coffee in the morning. So I did get a few gallons. These gallons, I actually got six of them. The, these gallons will last us probably, let's see, it's May 6th, I believe, or 7th. We probably won't have to buy any more gallon water until June. So I did get two of these cases of the sunny water as well. By the way, school will be out soon, and I thought about that this week. Like, oh my gosh, we are already at $300, like, weekly. Once school gets out, y'all know how the kids be all in the snacks, all in the pantry, the fridge. Y'all, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do at this point. But I think we still have like two or three more weeks left before school is officially out for the summer. I think we have two. Two more weeks maybe. I don't know. But yeah, I was like, who help our pockets. We have some assorted, we have an assorted box of chips. Um, one of my meals that I wanted to do this week was spaghetti, so I did pick up some Prego spaghetti sauce. We got some oranges there, y'all. Also, pay close attention to the type of salmon I got this week. So this week I got the Alaska, the Alaska stock eye salmon, two packages. Y'all know typically I do the Atlantic salmon, typically, but my sister-in-law sent me a TikTok that I'm going to insert now, y'all, and since I saw this TikTok, I kind of been a little iffy on the salmon. All right, so let's do the five fish that you can eat, or maybe not the five fish that you can eat, but the five fish that you definitely should eat or consider eating. Now, I'm not going to pretend like these are just the only five fish that you can eat. There's a lot of fish in the sea, okay? But these are some suggestions of things that you should definitely have on your radar. I got one ground rule. Let me say salmon. All right, let's go. Number one, salmon. Mm. Yeah. Yes, salmon. Salmon is good. Salmon got good intentions, y'all. The problem is when it's farm raised. Now, I know they're working on sustainably raising the fish or whatever, but we are not going to sit here and play like there aren't some problems with it. Problem number one and two, PCBs and dioxins. PCBs and dioxins have been linked with obesity and diabetes. It's a no for me, fam. I like my salmon without contaminants. Now, there are levels to the salmon. You got your pink salmon, your Atlantic salmon, coho salmon, sockeye salmon, king salmon, or your chinook salmon. As far as I'm concerned, anything above coho salmon, you're probably in the green. But as I have stated, most importantly, wild caught is what you need to be looking for if you're looking for the good fish. Next, mackerel. Mackerel is a- so I've had the Alaska stock eye salmon before. Um, they say this is the cleaner salmon. Um, this is the one, this is the type of salmon that you want to go to if you want to eat salmon. Now, in general, I didn't think that, you know, there was levels to the salmon thing, but there are, if you Google, like, 
just Google Pacific salmon and there are levels to the salmon. So there's a particular salmon that you do want to go for. Y'all know throughout my entire pregnancy or not my pregnancy, but yeah, I can't say my pregnancy. Throughout my entire pregnancy and the first year of Amila's life, like salmon was my go-to because it helped with a lot of different things. And I thought salmon was one of the fish that were healthier, but y'all got to watch the type of salmon that you get. So that's just a tip. Um, yeah, crazy. Um, I did get some bell peppers. We got some sandwich spread. I actually put this in my tuna fish. If you didn't know, if you're new, this is what I use. Um, in addition to like my purple onion, my um, celery, in addition to that salt pepper, I put the sandwich bread. I know some people use mayo and relish, and I've tried that, but to me, the sandwich bread is, it tastes much better, and it's way easier because you're not mis mixing, you know, the mayo and then the relish. This is the mayo and the relish for me. All in one combined. Y'all, then baby girl saw some, <laughs> she found some applesauce in the um, fridge, probably from like, I know at least two months ago because it's been a minute since I've gotten the applesauce squeeze it or the go go squeeze applesauce. And she was really wanting some this weekend. So I picked up a box of the go go squeeze. Y'all, we used to get these all the time. No sugar added. They're gluten free, nut and dairy free. And baby girl loves these, y'all. So yeah, I got a box of those. Um, we got some hamburger helper. Y'all, so on those nights that I really don't feel it, y'all, I make hamburger helper. Like, it's something quick, something easy, you ain't got to really think about. Now, I do add um, a few ingredients to this as far as, like, onions and bell pepper. But, yeah, hamburger helper is really for those easy nights where I really don't have to think. Think about cooking. You just throw some meat. Hold on. You throw some meat in the skillet, some onions, some chopped bell pepper, and keep it pushing, y'all. Something quick and easy. Um, also, y'all, I haven't really been on the donut shop tough here lately. The sneakers are really good. The donut shop sneakers. The Twix, not so much, y'all. I still have a ton of Twix left in the cabinet. And I actually tried the Twix this morning. And, yeah, the Twix aren't really doing it for me. But... I thought I would try these this week. These are the Donut Shop Cookie Dough K-Cups or the Cookie Dough K-Cup Pods for the Keurig, y'all. We will see how these taste. If you see them in another haul, you know they're good. I just noticed that these are actually the limited edition. So yeah, we got those. We got some Lucky Charms and some Tenement Toast Crunch. Um, we got some Crunch and Munch, y'all. Some sugar there, some uh, orange juice, the sweet and creamy international delight coffee creamer, some eggs. I actually add this to my spaghetti. This is the thick and zesty spaghetti um, seasoning by McCormick. Some beef smoked sausages, turkey bacon, some ground beef. Some y'all which we really did need i think my cheese was hiding from me behind something else and i didn't see it so um, we did get some cheese oh some yogurt strawberry i picked up a thing of deodorant we got some bread there some simply lemonade um this is actually new y'all this will be my first time trying the tide free and gentle um, so we will see how this goes. I'm going to see how I like this. I actually got this from my girl, Dunny BTV. If you have not seen her channel or checked it out, go and check her out. Um, she actually used some the week before last, I want to say, in her extreme cleaning video. And I just want to see how this does. Um, we do have our regular Persil Pro Clean, y'all, the Intense Fresh, um, just as a regular detergent for everyone. Um, baby girl actually by the way 
she still uses the drift or i still use the drift on her clothes however i'm gonna see how this works um just really monitor her skin i'm gonna use this probably on her clothes as well um and see how it works for her because i am we're slowly trying to get rid of the drift y'all so if you don't know if you're new to my channel i do have a 11 year old and a two year old um and we are as you know inflation is real um, we're trying to get her out of her pull-ups because that's a bill that we don't want each month and that drift bill gonna have to go too although the drift isn't as much as the pull-ups that's just one less thing we'll have to buy um for her so yeah i digress let's get back to it um i also got some downy infusions the calm oh did I mention paper plates? Did I say that? And we got some some fork spoons and knives. I did pick up some panay noodles because I want to run my baked ZD back one more time this week. You guys have probably seen the video by now. If not, you'll see me making baked ZD for the first time towards the end of the haul. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But y'all... I have to tell you, like, it didn't go as planned. Um, yeah, hubby said it was good, but I know I could have did better. So I picked up some penne noodles instead of the ragatoni that I got last week. The ragatoni is too much noodle. Like, it is too much pasta for me. And for me, it didn't taste right. Y'all, I got a Dawn Power Wash refill in the apple scent. I think I'm going to leave this one for downstairs in the kitchen. The apple scent, I just don't want my bathroom smelling like apple, y'all. I don't know. This may stay in the kitchen. Some Martha White cornbread mix, y'all. We can never have too many of these. Some ricotta cheese because last week I did not include the ricotta cheese in my baked ziti, y'all. And I think it was, it was missing some ricotta. So I picked up some ricotta cheese. Some shredded lettuce because tacos will be one of my go-to meals this week. Um, so yeah, I did get some shredded lettuce. Also some baby spinach. Y'all, I have been trying to incorporate more fruits and vegetables in my diet. I've been working out. I have been eating not so healthy, but a little healthier than normal. So yeah, we're trying to incorporate more fruits and vegetables. So I did pick up some baby spinach. Maybe do like a little salad situation this week for lunch. I got some carrots, some baby carrots. Baby carrots and ranch is like my go-to. I know the ranch isn't good, but, but sis, we taking it slow. We slow pacing this thing, okay? Um, I got some ground beef. Just a little ones this week because, you know, with tacos, you don't need too much. And tacos really go a long way that's why i love 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 my tacos so i did pick up some ground beef y'all we got some minced garlic because i was running low i needed some more well i got some ginger paste y'all this is new i've never tried it i was actually just gonna do the ginger in my curry chicken this week i still have not made my curry chicken y'all but i do plan on doing that as a meal this week We'll see how that goes. But I did pick up some ginger paste versus using real ginger. Although I do have real ginger in the fridge. Got some sour cream, y'all, of course, for the tacos. We got some taco seasoning. I love, love, love this Taco Bell mild taco seasoning. I think they also I think they also have it in hot. Y'all, we are trying to incorporate more fruits again, more fruits and vegetables in our diet. But I did get two grapefruits this week um oh aqua four we picked up some street taco corn tortillas y'all we got some zucchini and some squash i'm gonna do like a stir fry situation with zucchini squash and maybe even some onions so i picked up a papaya i have never um had a fresh papaya before so we'll cut this thing up and see how it go y'all also a exotic fruit here i got hold on i'm gonna have to take this one out the bag for y'all because these are not common in Texas, um, but y'all, dragon fruit, okay? I've never had a dragon fruit. Um, this is my first time. I'm going to have to Google it to see how to cut it and what we should and shouldn't eat off of the papaya, but um, low iron runs in our family. I actually have low iron. Baby girl has low iron. Jace has low iron, so I have been trying to think of, uh, think of foods or trying to um you know 
research foods that have iron in them so that we can get our iron naturally versus having to go the supplement route. So y'all, iron, um, pap not papaya, Lord, dragon fruit is a good source of iron. So we will see how we like it, y'all. I'm going to cut this thing up after we get off or after I do my um, grocery haul and see. Um, y'all, these things are expensive. This is like $6 for one. Like you buy them per dragon fruit, not per pound, but per dragon fruit. It would probably e be even more expensive per pound. But yes, this thing was $6 and I'm pretty sure we're going to eat this all up in one, one setting. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> So yeah, we got that. I got some bell peppers, y'all, some cucumbers. We got some bananas as usual. Baby girl loves bananas. Tomato for Taco Tuesday. Love bananas. Yes, you love bananas. Mommy, what's that? This is a dragon fruit. Is that a yes. What's that? that is a papaya. Y'all, I'm getting it together. I'm getting the names of what's these fruits that? together. Okay. Okay, let me finish, all right. Um, yes, we have a honeydew melon. I love, love, love. Okay, just a second. Love my honeydew. Um, we have some lemons there, some Louisiana. Y'all, every now and then, I have a taste for Louisiana hot sauce. And I have been craving Louisiana hot sauce for the last month, and I've been forgetting to add it to my grocery order. But I did pick up some Louisiana hot sauce today. We got two boxes of these flaming Hot Mixed Chips, y'all. Jace loves those. He will be out of school soon and pray for our pockets. Um, I did get some riscata. Y'all know I love this wine. If you've been here for a minute, like this is my fave, fave, fave wine at this point. Um, it's a sweet red. So if you like red and you like sweet, try it. You can get it at Walmart. I think they have it at Kroger's and maybe even Publix. I'm not sure, but try it out. Let me know how you like it. We got some sweet and creamy coffee creamer. I needed more of that, y'all, because I've been running through my coffee creamer like crazy. We got some Dawn fabric softener or Downy fabric softener. Y'all, cinnamon rolls. These are so bum. Um, these are like one of my go-to meals in the summertime when Jace is out of school. I either make them for breakfast or lunch. Typically, he doesn't wake up until noon or after lunchtime and i just have these prepared and ready for him versus making you know the same thing every morning for him a lot of times he just starts off with lunch um but on the days that i have time i do like to make those for him we have apple juice we have simply lemonade with raspberry and the all natural that's in every haul some turkey breast we got some chicken thighs today y'all no, those are panay noodles not too many meats today cornbread not too many meats today y'all i did order some atlantic salmon but they did not have the salmon unfortunately i have been craving salmon lights can, can you wait just a second can i finish this please okay and then we can talk about it all right so um i have been craving some salmon y'all so last week i got the sockeye the alaskan sockeye and that that salmon to me, y'all, oh my gosh. So I made it one day and I overcooked it and I was literally, I was mad at myself because I had to throw everything away, everything. We couldn't eat the salmon because I overcooked it. Um, So we ended up going um to, we ended up eating fast food that night. Okay, so I said, no more sockeye for me. I hear that's better for you, but to me, it's just, thick and it's it's so salmony it's so fishy i prefer the atlantic salmon over the sockeye i mean it's really your preference but um from what i hear the sockeye is healthier for you versus compared to the atlantic salmon all they had today was the sockeye and i'm like uh-uh put that back we can't do that um but yeah i did pick up some lemon some taco sauce because i don't think y'all we probably haven't had tacos in like two or three weeks honestly I've been really trying to make new meals, trying to bring new um, items to our palate, new meals to our palate, and I ain't really been making tacos, but this week, we're going to do it up with a taco day, okay? I did get some more spaghetti sauce because, y'all, they say, I guess they say baked ziti shouldn't be saucy saucy, but I think that's where I went wrong, not putting too much sauce in my baked ziti, and it was a little dry. <laughs> Y'all, it was a little dry. I ain't gonna lie. So, I'm gonna have to throw some more sauce in that thing, okay? We like sauce around here. It's gonna have to be saucy for us to eat it. So, I did pick up some 
Prego spaghetti sauce, the roasted garlic, and the three cheese. We got some lettuce there, y'all. Um, taco shells, of course. All right, what are tacos without taco shells? I got some honey bun. There's the other box of assorted chips. Y'all, we got these fruit snacks. We've had these before. Um, the um, Welch's Summer Fruit Snacks. Um, so yeah, I did get a box of these. We got two cases of water. I've been trying to stay stocked on our water. So yeah, we have a ton from last week. More water from this week, y'all. Right. So baby girl loves these um, Go Go Squeeze apple sauces, y'all. They have different flavors: apple, pears, bananas, um, strawberries, peaches. Y'all, she loves, 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 loves these. Um, she eats them in the morning before daycare. It's something quick and easy that she can just grab or that I can just grab and give to her. We also have some Belvitas. These are in just about every single haul. Jace loves these also. He gets them in the morning time before school. Just something quick and easy um, for you moms out there who have kids and it's about to be summertime, y'all. Something quick in the mornings. And for you working moms, let's just say that, um, whether you work from home or you have to go out and work and your kids have to be somewhere in the summer, y'all. This is just something quick that they can take as a really light breakfast snack. We have some organic milk there. I did get some lemonade, apple juice, um, oh, some bread, some nature's own whole wheat bread. I do plan on trying a new recipe this week, y'all. Y'all know, well... By the time that you see this, I believe, y'all, I'm like three weeks behind, okay, in my grocery hauls. Normally, I'm only like a week, and I'm good with that, but I wanted to bring you guys new content um, as far as like in addition to the haul, so I am incorporating one meal per week into each of my hauls. We go through the entire process of preparing the meal and cooking the meal from start to finish. So I hope you guys are enjoying that content. By now, you should have seen at least two recipes, I believe, that I made out of the products that I purchased in my hauls. So um, yeah, I think the first two may not be actual products that I purchased in the actual haul that you see. Maybe, I don't know. But it's just really to give you an idea on on items to make, recipes to cook. Um, hopefully they are easy. Some of them are more easier because I do like to go for the more easier meals considering the fact that, you know, I am a full-time mom, all the above. Um, I work full-time. So by the time I get off and I'm ready to cook, y'all, it's been a long day already and I just want to um, go straight to something hearty and just really fulfilling for to everyone. And, you know, that's good really so yeah i hope you guys are enjoying that content but this week i have never made baked ziti and i was watching just jazzy she's a um bigger um content creator on this platform and she actually made some baked ziti and that actually gave me the idea of making some ziti so i picked up the prego roasted garlic and herb sauce you don't need too much. You don't want to make it too saucy from my understanding. We have some ground beef because that's the type of meat that we will be using. Um, in addition to some other items that we'll go over here in just a second. I got some heavy whipping cream because you can never have too much of this. I've learned to always keep heavy whipping cream in the fridge because this, y'all, it goes a long way. And you can add it to just about, I'm not going to say just about anything, but... As far as like macaroni and cheese, um, your eggs, your scrambled eggs in the morning, y'all. I use whipping cream for a lot of stuff. So I did get some whipping cream. I got some mozzarella cheese because this is an item that I will add to the baked ziti. In addition to that, y'all, I think I got the wrong one. So Jazzy said that this creamy melt is really good. So I picked this up. But I wasn't thinking that it was the mozzarella creamy melt. I'm going to have to take a look at my um, 
my actual order, y'all. I'm going to have to take a look at my actual order to see. Are there different kinds of creamy milk cheese? I'm pretty sure. We'll see. Um, if, if I don't use this, I have other cheeses in the fridge. We'll see. I was thinking I got another, since I picked up the mozzarella, I was thinking I got another type of cheese in the creamy milk. I'm going to have to look at my order. So we have some orange juice. I did get some um, jumbo potatoes, y'all, because y'all know we make our potatoes from scratch. <laughs> okay. It took me a really, really, really long time to get onto that game or get hip to that game. I was for the longest stuck on instant potatoes, y'all. But baby, if you don't cook potatoes from scratch, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? We got some tomato sauce. I'm either going to do the tomato sauce in the baked Z or I'm going to do the roasted garlic and herb. I'm thinking this because it has, you know, different herbs and seasonings in it already versus this. I have to kind of spice up myself. So we'll see. But it's always good to have tomato sauce on hand because I like to add that to my spaghetti in addition to the prego sauce. So that's that. I picked up some wingettes there. Y'all, I did get the Atlantic Salmon this week. Y'all know in last week's haul, I talked down on the Atlantic. Is it the Atlantic Salmon that's mutated or the Pacific? Y'all, I be having to Google it now. But this is not the salmon. I think it. I think this is the salmon. I think this is the one that has mutated in an ocean. And, you know, they say it's not really good for you. I know, y'all. I know. I talked about it last week. But I was like, maybe just a little. Like, this this won't hurt. So in addition to the stock eye that I got last week, I do plan on making this because I didn't think the stock eye would be enough based on um, my last week's order. So I picked up some. They didn't have the stock eye this week, and they only had this. So I'm pretty sure this is the one that's the mutated because they only had this because you know they always have the stuff that's bad for you. Like it'd be plentiful. It's plentiful. Like the items that's bad for you in the store, it's a lot of, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the salmon that we don't want. But if we eat it in moderation, you know, considering the fact that I didn't ate it the last two or three years, like now that I am, you know, watching the amount that I am intaking, hopefully that will not, you know, create any issues. Let me say that. Y'all, I am so excited for this. So I did not place the order for cotton candy grapes, but they gave me cotton candy grapes because I guess they didn't have the regular ones. But I have been meaning to try these grapes for like years. I hear they're pretty good, y'all. I will let you know how they are. If you see them in another haul, you know they were good. But I'm too excited for these cotton candy grapes, y'all. Too, too, too excited. Hopefully they're good. I did pick up some fancy cakes. We got Jace's strawberry shortcakes. He'll be excited for those. Y'all got some rigatoni noodles um, for the baked ziti. We also got some toothpaste, some popcorn, onions, um, bananas, and a sorted box of chips. Always, we got some goldfish because baby girl is running very low. Some mandarin oranges, bell peppers. We have some red bell peppers, y'all. So another meal that I want to do this week is the cabbages, y'all. The cabbage with the green and red. I'm just going to do the green and red. I see people do the green, red, and the orange bell peppers, but I'm going to do the cabbage, the bell peppers, the onions. In addition to that, I have some smoked sausages that I'm going to mix up in the cabbage, y'all. And that may just be a meal for me one day. You guys know that I'm on this weight loss thing, y'all. So this is actually a new item. You guys know I typically do the Lysol laundry sanitizer, but this is the Clorox laundry sanitizer. So we're going to see how this works. This is 0% bleach, so you can use it on white and colored clothes. Um, and it's just an additional um cleaning agent that i want to add into my laundry routine y'all again if you see it if you see it in another haul you know that i love it so yeah we'll see how that goes i got some snickers k-pods 
Y'all, this is also a Sam's Club. So this is a Walmart slash Sam's Club week because I did have to stock up on, you know, some um, like paper towels and stuff. So we did get a thing of detergent. You guys know that I do monthly orders at Sam and we kind of just stock up on everything we need that I typically get from Sam's. Like my detergent, which I have plenty of this now. I have plenty, plenty, plenty of detergent. We needed some more um pads or cloths for my Swiffer. Um, this is what I normally use to clean my floors. Now, typically, so these are the wet ones. I think typically I do the dry ones. So I don't know how these are going to work because I only like putting a certain chemical on the floor since they're wood floors. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how they, those work. Um, I also picked up some paper towels, y'all. This potty training thing is still a struggle, so we are still buying the pull-ups, y'all. I will be so glad when we get past this stage. It continues, y'all. Um, we also picked up some tissue paper as well. I love the angel sauce. So, y'all, so I picked up some green seedless grates, per seal laundry detergent, y'all. We picked up some butter because we are almost out. I did get the white American cheese. We have a couple things of wingettes because I have had a taste for some fried wings. So I'm going to do that probably tomorrow. That'll probably be my Sunday meal. I just had a taste for some of my fried chicken wings. So we may do like a little cabbage on the side. So the fried chicken, cabbage greens, cornbread, because y'all know I'm from the South and I need my cornbread. And I don't know what else. We'll see. I got some more ground beef. This week, I also plan on doing some, doing some curry chicken as well. Maybe curry chicken and rice. This will be my first time making the curry chicken, by the way. But I did find a recipe that called for some chili powder. Curry powder, of course. Um, a little honey. Some honey. Also some ginger and onions. I think bell peppers, maybe. Um, and the chicken flavored bouillon. So we are going to um, do that with the curry chicken one night and maybe like over a bed of rice or something, a bed of white rice. So that'll be one meal this week. I do have some chicken thighs in the freezer already and put them in the slow cooker one day or one morning so that they can cook, you know, most of the day. And we'll eat that one night, maybe with some green beans. I did get a few cans of green beans. I do like to stay on top of my veggies, y'all. We have a ton of vegetables in the pantry. And I like to stay on top of my canned vegetables. Um, I picked up some jelly. I think I already showed you the honey there. We got some tuna fish, y'all, because I have been really loving my tuna fish for lunch. It's something just quick and easy that I can eat with crackers and, you know, not necessarily have to put too much thought into it. Um, so yeah, I can make it up tomorrow and just have it for a few days or a couple of days with some Ritz crackers. That's what I like to do for lunch now. That's what I did last week for lunch. So we're going to run that back again this week. So we did get a few cans of the chunk light tuna, the star kiss. Um, we like to stay on top of our soap, y'all. <laughs> y'all have probably saw, you guys have probably seen this in like the last few hauls, the Dove, um, soap. And I get all different kinds. This week, I just went with the antibacterial soap. So we did get two of those. Um, you guys saw the chicken flavored bouillon. I actually got this for the curry chicken. I some deodorant as well. So I got two for hubby and then one for Jay's because... Jace has been like running through his deodorant, helping him run through his deodorant, y'all. So, yeah, I picked those up for them. We got some Simply Lemonade All Natural, y'all. That is in every haul at this point. I got a purple onion. We got some lemons, y'all. I have been into my um, lemon drops, y'all. Oh, my gosh. So, like recently so i'm a really big margarita girl like give me a good margarita and some tacos or some nachos or um a quesadilla or something like that y'all and i'm good like take me to a, a really nice mexican restaurant with good margaritas y'all 
I am that girl. I am a margarita girl for sure. But the last few weeks, y'all, I have been into my lemon drops. So I'm going to try my hand at a lemon drop tonight or a couple lemon drops tonight and see how it goes. We have a couple bell pepper, some whole wheat bread or whole grain bread, cucumbers, Velveeta's. Um, we got the chocolate and the blueberry. Y'all, I'm pretty sure now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure we probably have some of these left over in the pantry from last week because I have been um, fasting. Um, so I normally don't eat or drink anything after eight o'clock during the week. And then I will go until like one o'clock the next day before I eat lunch or anything. I really just have been having my coffee in the morning. Y'all know I am a big 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 a huge fan of Vel Velveeta's and I will eat them literally almost every morning during the week with my coffee and this past week I've kind of just been trying to fast and wean myself off of the sugar also in addition to that I stopped putting sugar in my coffee y'all officially um as of Thursday or Friday of last week now this is still new okay <laughs> Do not quote me or do not write this down, but um, the sweet and creamy, the sweet and creamy coffee creamer, y'all, I don't need any sugar. Like, you don't need any sugar with that. And I figured that out the other day because typically I just put sugar in my coffee automatically before I taste it, my creamer, my sugar, all that good stuff. But then I forgot to put my sugar the other day and I drunk it and I was like, I thought about it after I drank it. I was like, I didn't put sugar in this. You don't need it, y'all. With the sweet and creamy coffee creamer. Let me show y'all just a second. Y'all, with this creamer, this is the holy grail. Like, I don't know of any other creamer that can do it for me like this. But with this creamer, I don't need sugar. It has a ton of sugar. Like, I was putting this in my coffee in addition to extra sugar. So, you don't need it, y'all. Just a heads up. Or I don't need it. So... I don't know if you want to do away with the extra sugars try it and let me know how you like it so we picked up some fruit snacks as well for baby girl and jace also eats them um i got some oil because i needed some oil y'all know typically i don't fry anything hardly but um i did like i said had a taste for some fried chicken so i picked up some grand's biscuits plan to make breakfast in the morning I picked up some baby carrots because I want to do some. So I have some stewed meat in the fridge. So another quick and easy meal that I like to make is the stewed meat along with the red potatoes cut up and the carrots. So I'll make that in the crock pot as well. So we have two crock pot meals this week. One is a new meal. That's the curry chicken. I've never had it. So we'll see how that goes. Jace is actually... Like I said, and I think I've mentioned this in the last haul, Jason's actually back into sports. So we like our our week nights are um, getting a lot more busy. I know last Monday, y'all, it it was it was pretty long. So I just really need a quick and easy meal. I really just need to focus on quick and easy meals. So yeah, those are like two meals that I'll make. We got some eggs there. My fancy cakes, some organic milk, the red potatoes. Y'all, these, I cannot say this enough. Like, this is my second week, no, third week straight purchasing the donut shop sneakers, K cups, y'all. The Twix K cups are not as good. Go fish for baby girl. Y'all, I don't know why my boxes have been coming open for some reason. Like, every week they give me an open box. I may need to start counting the number of chips. Like, I may need to be petty. <laughs> Not necessarily petty, y'all, because the groceries are very expensive, and I need to get all of what I paid for, okay, for 270 something dollars that don't even look like 270 something dollars. I'm just saying. I digress, y'all. Um, sorry about that. But <laughs> seriously, though, like, why are my boxes coming open? Lettuce, um, bananas. Y'all, I saw this antibacterial done, and I was like, why not? It is the apple blossom, the apple blossom scent, as you can see. We got some bleach because we needed more bleach. Some Lysol, 
and some laundry sanitizer. This is the haul for the week, guys.